Today I'm going to show you how to make 10 different Pinterest graphics using one piece of content, or for us it's going to be one single blog post. So I've gone ahead and I've pulled up my blog post that I want to create my Pinterest graphics from, and I've pulled up Canva, which is where I'm going to make these Pinterest graphics. You can also use Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, those are also great options, but Canva is free and super easy to use. So I've pulled up my canvas and I've sized this to 700 by 1050 pixels. Um, anything in those proportions is going to be good for Pinterest, like 600 by 900 is also a great option. Um, but we do all of our Pinterest graphics as 700 by 1050. And I've also gone ahead and I've pulled out the 10 images that I think that I'm going to use for these Pinterest graphics. And I found these through Social Squares. And in order to stay on brand and really consistent so that anyone who comes across these Pinterest graphics knows that it comes from a trusted source and that it all kind of matches the same content, I have used this really handy um, filter selection in the Social Squares image gallery. So I've chosen some colors that I think are really cohesive with Social Squares and with the SC brands. So I've clicked on taupe as a color, gray, I'm going to do black and white as well. And then I'm going to go down into these categories and I'm going to choose things that apply to this work-life balance series. So maybe some office life, um, some laptop or desk shots. So I'll go ahead and select text screens, desktops, and we'll see where we get from there. So already this is looking really good. I went ahead and pulled out 10 of my favorite options from this filter that Social Squares has provided me and I've downloaded them and saved them into this top 10 folder for myself. So feel free to use Social Squares to create your Pinterest graphics and to find some stock images there. It is so easy to go in and find whatever content you need that is both going to be color sorted to match your brand, but also has the content that's going to match whatever the content is for your Pinterest graphic. So in Pinterest, what I'm going to do is let's just start with the first one. I'm going to create um, a background color for us. Then we'll get back to stretch the entire length of this canvas. And then I want to make sure that we add a URL. Okay, so this is going to be my baseline template for all my Pinterest graphics. The easiest thing for me to do is to just use the title of whatever content I'm using as the title for my Pinterest graphic. And in some cases, for a Pinterest audience that might not have any context of your business or in this case, any context on what this series is, I'm going to edit down this post title so that it makes sense to them. So this might be how to do 40 hours of work in 16 hours. Just apply some of my brand fonts. That's super important for us. And then I'm going to drop in one of these Social Squares images that I've chosen. So how to do 40 hours of work in 16 hours. Really any of these could apply here. Let's just start with the first one. All right, so we've got this great Social Squares image that we can just stick right there. And that's one Pinterest graphic that is done. Now, let's create another one. I'm going to duplicate this page and I'm going to drop in another image. Now, what you could potentially do is use the same template and just keep dropping in new images that apply. So, for instance, we can just stick this new image in that space 
and Canva will also let you crop things down. So we might choose to do something like this. And just use a different image every single time. But what I like to do, especially since Social Square's images are so beautiful, and because they have these great vertical images now, is I like to create some nice options where the image is the entire background. And then we'll have our text on top. You can also change up your text. So something that I like to do is I might go into the post itself and I might find some subheadings or some salient points that I want to make sure are promoted along with this content. So I might say how to run a multi six figure business in 16 hours a week. That sounds like a great headline too. So use your content and let that content do the work for you. Okay, so it's not entirely readable right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick a little rectangle behind that title, recolor it into something that matches our business. And we've got another Pinterest graphic. And you can play around with placement as well. I like that a little more since more of the workspace is showing. All right, that's number two. Done. Let's try another one. I love some of these images from Social Squares with a lot of white space because that means you can just stick your text right on top of it and you won't have to do any crazy designing. That's another one, done. It is so easy when you've got great images to work with and images that let you just stick text right on top of it. So right now we've got three Pinterest graphics and it's okay to recycle some of these titles occasionally, but I'm gonna create another one. Maybe I'll reuse this title again. So I'm just going to copy and paste that previous headline onto this new graphic and let's choose another photo to work with. Let's go ahead and use this one. I'm just dragging and dropping into Canva and it's uploading into my uploads folder. Beautiful. Okay, let's put another box behind it. I'm just going to steal some elements from previous pins and go ahead and reuse them here. And we're just going to recolor things as needed. So I might swap that color to match the photo a little better. Send that 
backward. Another thing you can do is a little more color blocking. So I might put a little bar at the top or bottom of my graphics, which is also really nice for Pinterest. Now here's another thing you can do. This is going to be our fifth pin. Get rid of that image in the back. You might do background color. Let's drop in another great image. I love this one. And we can just create a nice color border around this image, which is really nice for Pinterest. You always want to make sure that you fill it with either a color or with an image because since the Pinterest interface itself is white, if you're using a white background on your pin, it tends to get lost and not really pop on Pinterest. So to get a better performing pin, we do want to put some kind of color or image behind it. Now on top of that, we might put another square. Let's change up these colors so they match a little better. That's lovely. Might make that guy white so the title pops a little more. And that's another option for your Pinterest graphic. Now one more thing that you could do here is again to use a graphic or an image that has a lot more white space for you to utilize. So let's take this one for instance fun laptop in a chair. You could certainly use it as a square here. Just kind of drop it in to your graphic and let the background do the rest of the framing. Or again, you could blow it up to be the entire background of this graphic. The great thing about social squares images is that they are high enough resolution that you can kind of blow them up and use them however you need to. And that's another option. Now, we do want to make sure that we're testing out a couple of different points of copy here. So I might go back to my original copy and choose some more salient points that I want to pull out um, into some kind of headline. So any subheadings, um, any pull quotes, or anything that's bold, it's a great place to start for your Pinterest headings. So this might be how to prioritize your workday with a block schedule. We'll probably want to size that down a little bit. There we go. Okay. Let's choose another image. is another beautiful one and the great thing about social squares too is that they're so well composed we've got this nice negative space here in the corner that um, we might not have seen in other stock images so we can drop in our text here maybe size it down again So again, that's another great option. So we've got seven pins working in our favor already. And all we've had to do is basically drag and drop some images, blow them up as needed. Let's do a couple more and get us to those 10 different Pinterest images. So all I'm doing every time is I'm duplicating and I'm deleting some of the things that I don't need. Right, here's another one, and maybe because this image has a white background, we could potentially blow it up, but since it's so simple, I like the idea of keeping it a square and just putting a colored background in behind it. Okay. 
Again, you want to make sure that you are still using all of your same brand colors and your brand fonts. You want everything to look really consistent, really well branded, um, and those social squares images or any stock images that you use should also do the same thing. They should both reinforce your brand and your brand style, and they should give whoever is on Pinterest searching for your content a sense of what your pin is all about. Let's reuse this copy since squeezing in 40 hours of work in 16 hours kind of matches this stock image, this sense of recharging. Okay, that's eight. Let's do another one. We're just on a roll, you guys. All right, we haven't used this image yet. So we're gonna drop that in. Something else you can do if you wanna play around with something fun is we can offset these things. So we might choose to do a photo in the top right corner and then maybe we'll do a box that kind of pops in and staggers from the bottom right corner. And copy over some of these headlines. And again, if you've got a lot of different salient points or um, potential headlines that you were trying in your original content piece, that is a great thing to repurpose in these Pinterest graphics is try out some of those different headlines in each of these pins to see which one is gonna perform best for you. All right, that's another option and let's do one more. Let's use this great image. This blocking that I'm doing in Canva is so easy to do and it works really well for Pinterest, it tends to perform pretty well. Um, so I would say use it to your advantage. It's so easy um, and it's beautiful. I think there's something beautiful about the simplicity of it. So I'm just going to make sure that everything aligns. And then let me go back again to our content piece. And see if I can pick out one more different headline. Maybe something on work life balance. How to create work life balance. In general, we want to try and get these headlines as large as possible for Pinterest. Not like we're screaming at people, but large enough to get their attention. And there we go. Everything looks super consistent because we pulled them from the same image library. We pulled everything with really similar colors. And we're using all of our brand colors and fonts. And in just a couple minutes, we have made 10 different Pinterest graphics using one piece of content with the help of just a couple of social squares images and stock images. And there you have it. That's all you need to do. Let's just change the background color on this guy really quick so he matches. And we're done.